BBC One and BBC iPlayer. The government's under fire over its overhaul of the benefits system. A damning report says the new system is too slow and is not delivering value for money. The National Auditor's Office says ministers are in denial about the hardship caused by the scheme, but the government insists it is working. When I talk to claimants up and down the country going to job centres, what they tell me is that this system is not only simpler, but there are incentives in place so that you can get into work, stay in work. Also this lunchtime. The UN expresses deep concern for the people of Yemen as fighting around the port of Hodeida continues threatening to cut off vital supplies. Former Wimbledon champion Boris Becker claims diplomatic immunity against bankruptcy proceedings in London. And celebrating the life of Professor Stephen Hawking, a memorial service is being held at Westminster Abbey. Later in the hour on the BBC News channel, we'll have all the latest reports, results, interviews and features from the BBC Sports Centre. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to BBC News. The government has been severely criticised in an official report on its flagship benefit reform, Universal Credit. The National Audit Office said the policy could prove more expensive than the, the North and the West. Kate. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, much more on the BBC News Channel at one on BBC One, though. We'll join the news teams where you are. Have a good afternoon. Bye bye. iPlayer. Now here's the science bit. Ready? Could a bendy phone be the future? There really is no trouble. Tomorrow at 12.30 on the BBC News Channel. Hello, a very good afternoon to you. This is BBC News with me, Anita McVeigh. Uh, more now on the breaking news that in the last few minutes an army sergeant has been jailed for life.